To understand how to vent a holding tank, we started out on various rooftops, monitoring and studying airflow characteristics with the help of a fog machine. These particular buildings had almost no obstructions in the path of the wind besides some neighboring trees. Over many days with different wind speeds and directions, the results are always the same. Lots of turbulence, some updrafts, mostly downdraft gusts, and often sudden direction shifts. Even with extended stacks many feet above the roof line, the wind was very unpredictable. And in these cases, there was no apparent wind obstructions. Basically, turbulent wind and downdrafts are more common than not. Obstructions in the path of the wind and higher wind speeds drastically increase stack back pressure. Again, with the use of fog, and in this case a fan, located in the top left-hand corner, replicating a 10 degree downdraft on an open 3 inch stack. Note the results of the back pressure pushing fog out of the lower part. Now the same test with the siphon attached. This aerodynamically engineered vent acts as a downdraft check valve. With no moving parts, it will place a low pressure at the part opening in any wind condition. It can be installed on an angle, even inverted, it cannot fail. We have no control over the placement of a vent stack or preventing wind turbulence, but we can control the wind. An open stack on top of a holding tank is a guarantee that fumes will be entering the living space. It cannot be prevented. P-traps, seals, and toilet seats cannot stop a pressurized tank from leaking out its gaseous contents.